last mistake. All right, we got Sid, so how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kids. Yeah! Brad is taking me to dinner. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? 
When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> you just have to deal with it. <gasps> this will save my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Could it be as simple as 3D? No, 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 don't put in a space. Oops, sorry, finger slipped. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. You're just better than everyone! Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touché. That's two. One more to go. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. Dad, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. Sinyak doesn't have a chance! Last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Swarmed here. Wait, let me try something. Good to be the president. So work. Yet again. 
again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying <laughs> What idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. I never did. Getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Keep those reassurances coming. Z, what's going on? Before you place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one. True. I don't know. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Ah, oh, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. What am I looking at? Terror as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? 
Oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? All right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. 